Thank you. Uh, you're so kind. I appreciate that. Thank you for coming to my classroom. I see the same faces <laughs> every week, but we love you for doing that for us. And I'm so excited because 420 is... Um, I, I know. It's, uh, there's only four copping days left. <laughs> I'm so excited. I haven't even started my baking, but I just know it's gonna be a great holiday. If, if people, if you're squares at home and you don't know. But, 420. Um, 420 is the holiday stone. It's, it's where you stay home <laughs> from work, get stoned all day, and eat junk food. Uh, previously known as 2020. <laughs> but, uh, but hey, I'm going to start with some good news. We are finally getting out of Afghanistan. That is the big political news this week. Wow. No Biden. America is not anymore the world's policeman. If we were, we'd have shot them. <laughs> I mean, wow, this... <laughs> it, all the news is shootings, police, citizens, another horrible shooting today of eight people in Indianapolis. We've had 45 mass shootings in the last month. And uh, in a related story, our long-term study on the effectiveness of thoughts and prayers is in... No, doesn't work. <laughs> No, we, we'd studied it. And then this latest atrocity that happened right in Minneapolis while the trial is going on. And it turns out the guy who, who was shot pulled over because he was had an air freshener hanging from his rear view mirror, which apparently is actually an eagle, illegal thing in five states. An air freshener hanging from your mirror because apparently that's very dangerous. Yeah, it can lead to getting pulled over and shot by the cops. I... I <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to be fair to the cops, too, but come on, fellas, ladies. But the good news is Joe Biden is kicking ass. 59% approval rating, 72% approve of what he's doing with COVID, including 55% of Republicans. A lot of Republicans are... <laughs> A lot of Republicans are saying, boy, are we glad this guy stole the election. <laughs> But, I mean, getting out of Afghanistan is a big fucking deal, to quote Joe himself. Big fuck. I mean, two presidents before him, Obama and Trump, said they would do it, promised to end the war, didn't. Biden just fucking did it. He, he over... He... He overruled the generals. He, he's president. I'm too old for this shit. But I'm telling you, getting out of Afghanistan is not going over well with everybody. Did you see Lindsey Graham? Oh, he is taking it very hard. <laughs> Lindsey, Lindsey knows where our boys should be. <laughs> no, he's not, he is not happy about his getting out of Afghanistan. I saw him on the talk shows. He had that look on his face. He gets, but it's a, he looks like he got to church and a, another lady was wearing the same hat. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't mean another. I'm, but uh, come on, Afghanistan, 20 years. Matt Gates's girlfriends weren't even born when this war started. <laughs> it's about time. Oh, more allegations with there. Matt Gates, he's in trouble. Young women now have, uh, were t talking to CNN this week, and they were talking about the parties. He used to have cocaine, ecstasy, pill popping, lots of sex. Who knew Republicans could party like this? <laughs> It, 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 sounds, it sounds like an orgy. And, you know, Republican orgies are a little different. <laughs> how so, Bill? Well, I'll tell you how. <laughs> if, you, if you hear somebody saying, who's your daddy, they're trying to verify a ballot signature. That's how they're different. Oh, you're a great crowd. Thank you. Uh, but Matt Gates, he says he is innocent of any sexual in impropriety. He said, it's all a big misunderstanding. He said, yes, I pulled out my dick in front of a 17-year-old. I thought it was a taser. He's just... <laughs> they're, they're shameless, these Republicans. Oh, and... Uh, sadness in Great Britain today. This is their burying Prince Philip. You saw he died last week at 99. And the Queen is already dating Hunter Biden. <laughs> Well, it makes sense. He is a thing for widows, and, and she is a thing for bad teeth. And... Uh, 
And they're both open to sex with relatives. Anyway, <laughs> are you sitting down? Because big news this week, The Bachelor came out as gay. <laughs> you didn't see? Oh, this is big stuff. I mean, <laughs> there were clues that uh, Colton Underwood, he said, there were clues. Because he, he said on the show he hadn't dated many women. Uh, he, said he called himself an accidental virgin. And then on the last episode, when he, when he proposed to Liza Minnelli, <laughs> 